Hi little pickles, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do a review of the Ordinary Foundation. Now I know this has been in the press a lot recently and it has been in the past for being a really cheap and really really good foundation and I just thought I would order it, see what it is, see what it does, see if it's any good and give you the real scoop on this. Now I have got the full coverage and the light coverage foundation. So the full coverage foundation is high coverage foundation formula and the light coverage is the serum foundation, lightweight serum formula. I got both of these after much deliberation in my shade 1.1N, so 1.1 neutral. Um, took me a long time to try and figure out what shade I would be. If you already know your shade or you know a, your certain shade, like a MAC shade and what that would be in this shade, it'd probably be a lot easier for you. But did take me a while because on the website I thought, oh, well, I'm this colour. And then I looked at other people's swatches and I thought, oh, I don't know whether I am. I would be that colour. Um, but eventually I just went for, because I'm not very, very fair, but I would say that I am fair and that I do have more of a neutral undertone. So I just thought, screw it, we're going with this one. And I've pumped a little bit on the back of my hand and it looks like it's going to be my shade. So then I also ordered the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. And this looks really, really nice. It was £3.90, oh, before I forget. So the foundations were £5.70 and £5.90? £5.70, £5.90. Anyway, they were around that mark. Um, one of them was £5.70, one of them was £5.90. So really, really good price point. And the primer was £3.90. How can you go wrong for a £3.90 primer? Well, if it's shit, then, then it's shit. But hopefully this will be really, really good. High adherence silicone primer with advanced adaptive silicones. Used as the last step in skincare regime, either on its own or as a makeup primer, it's fragrance free. It supports makeup adherence, visible surface texture and hydration. I will list all these products down below so you can see exactly all the information. So first things first, I'm just going to moisturise my skin and I've been loving the Garnier Skin Active. This is the day cream, the aloe one, the hydrate and refresh. Really, really nice um, foundation. That's not a foundation. Really, really nice moisturiser. It's got a slight kind of gel texture to it and it's just really, really soft on the skin. It hasn't made me break out, which I know you're probably thinking, Hannah, have you seen this side of your face? But this side of my face just decided it didn't like me anymore. And this happened before I started using this moisturiser, so it's not the moisturiser's fault. Don't blame the moisturiser. So let's take a look at the primer. So it comes in this little box and, oh, I like the packaging. It's kind of like a metallic map. And let's just take a little look at what this looks like. So it's white in colour. And again, it's quite like a gel texture. Just gonna pop a little bit of this on the centre of my face, which is where most of my big pores are. I'm just gonna take a foundation brush and just pat that into the skin. I always find that this is a lot better than your fingers because you can just do it a little bit more evenly. And I thought what I would do with these foundations is do one side full coverage on the side that doesn't like me and one side light coverage on the side that's playing game with the body. So we shall see if the full coverage is full coverage and covers up those nasty little marks. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't know why I'm trying to look in the little screen. I bought myself a little mirror. It's got a slight tackiness to it. Not as much as I would normally like from a primer, but ever so slight tackiness. It does feel a little bit greasy, but I'll give it a couple more minutes to sink in. Now, before I get started, I thought I would say that I am getting ready for work and I will do a check-in when I'm on my way back from work. Sorry if my hair looks greasy, it's not. I have just been taking my dog for a walk and it's snowing. So the time now is 8.39 in the morning and it's snowing and my hair looks greasy and I've got to go to work. Now this has dried down and now it feels slightly more powdery if that makes sense, like it's got kind of like a film over it, which I quite like. It kind of feels a little bit like the Smashbox one but not as um, powdery. So the light coverage foundation again comes in a little box and this is what it looks like. I quite like the simplicity of their packaging, I think it's quite nice. I'm going to do one pump 
on the back of my hand. Oh, this is very watery. Um, almost like if I tipped my hand up, you can see it start to run. I'm going to take my Eco Tools beauty sponge and I'm just going to start tapping that onto my face before it falls off. It definitely looks like it's adding a nice kind of finish to the skin. Definitely a light coverage though, like if you have nice skin already to begin with then this would be perfect for you just for adding like a nice sheen to the skin, like a natural healthy glow. I'm going to put one more pump on and see if we can make it a little bit more full coverage, well not full but maybe build it up a little bit. So put a little bit more on. And you can definitely see on my nose this side I've done and this side I haven't, like the difference in colour. And even though it is a light coverage, it has definitely kind of just blurred out the redness and just made my skin look a little bit more even. And definitely with two pumps, I think I would be happy wearing this on a day-to-day -day basis, the coverage wise. It's definitely a really, really nice, lightweight foundation. Next, we're gonna go on to the full coverage. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this this is definitely thicker. This is more of a thick consistency. Um, the other one was like, whoom, like a liquid. But this is definitely thicker. So let's try this on this side. It's strange, isn't it? Because I wouldn't say it's full coverage because it's quite thin. But it may be buildable, so we can do another layer. But I'm so used to full coverage foundations. When you put them on, they're quite thick. You can still see my imperfections there. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's full coverage, but we'll add some more and we'll see. The only thing I am noticing is it's grabbing at points on my nose. Now I always struggle with my nose anyway, for some reason foundations just don't like it. Did Maybe it's the primer, so I can do this, put this foundation on again without that primer and see how it is, but the redness on my nose and the patchiness bit of an issue. So again we're going to just take another pump of that foundation and go back over. Yeah I mean it's definitely buildable. I mean now that I've put a second layer on it does look a lot more full coverage compared to this side and I do think this is starting to oxidise a little bit. This side still looks quite pale whereas this side is starting to look more orange so whether that is just the full coverage foundation that does that I would say so because when I'm looking in the light here this side looks very yellow and orange and this side looks very pale so one thing to keep in mind may be that the full coverage does oxidize a little bit darker than the serum one I don't know if you can see here but there's quite a lot of patchiness. And I wouldn't necessarily say this is a matte finish, it's quite a, mm, I would say, a semi-matte. In places it looks more matte than others, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, so I wouldn't say that it's matte. So I'm just gonna pop some concealer under my eyes, just to see how this foundation reacts with a concealer put on top, because the most annoying thing is when you get a really, really nice foundation, you put concealer over the top and it just pulls and drags, and it just doesn't wanna work with any other products. So, the concealer that I'm going to use is by 17 and it is the Stay Up to 18 Hour Concealer. I'm just going to take my smaller Eco Tools sponge and just start pressing that in. And that seems to have pressed in quite nicely to the foundation. It's sunk in, it's blended with it, no issues there whatsoever. I mean, I do like the finish on this foundation, especially the full coverage. Slightly annoyed about the oxidisation because it's making it look a little bit patchy. But the actual coverage is quite nice. I mean, this is quite a bad area of skin. And I probably would have to go over this with um, a thicker foundation or a concealer. Um, but just for a day-to-day, -day, as in not wanting to put too much, it's not for a special event, then this would definitely be really, really nice. So I'm just going to dust over my face with powder, the Max Factor Transparent Loose Powder. And the powder has gone on quite nicely actually. It's kind of softened any of the more orangey edges. I do feel like it's kind of sinking into my nose area really, really strangely. 
and I have a feeling that it's the primer so I'm a bit annoyed because maybe I shouldn't have used primer on both sides because then so that is the serum side and that is the full coverage side so I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back okay so this is my finished makeup look I would say quite a subtle look but for work but I actually don't think it is but I'm just gonna spritz my face with the Mario Badesco facial spray just a little bit one final look at the makeup this morning so now that I've finished it is 9.02 and so this was the serum foundation side and this was the full coverage foundation side so I will see you guys later after I return from work okay here I am back for my check-in where is my clock to tell me what time it is the time is 5 21 so this has been on for nearly eight and a half hours so quite a long day as you can see if i zoom you in a little bit closer the patchiness on my nose is real but i mean that's a given on most foundations that i use unfortunately the cheeks still look quite good kind of worn off on the textured areas a little bit but I'm actually quite impressed with this it has settled slightly in my smile lines more on the full coverage side than the light coverage side um, a little bit of patchiness on the chin but I actually think the light coverage side has kind of settled into the skin and looks a lot prettier than the full coverage side Maybe with the full coverage side, if I'd put a heavier powder on, maybe that would have held it in place a little bit more. Um, I am going to carry on using this foundation over the next few days and see how it is um, with a different primer underneath. Because I do think that primer that I use, the, um, the ordinary primer, the silicone primer, has slightly affected the slip on the nose a little bit. Um, but as you can see, it's quite patchy on both sides, especially here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. eight and a half hours I don't think it's too bad I would give this foundation a seven out of ten I think that's fair I think the light coverage side I think looks a lot prettier than the full coverage side so I definitely think the light coverage I will be using on a day-to-day -day basis and trying it with different products to see how it works so that's it that is my review of this foundation I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if that's what you want to do and I'll see you on the next video love you